Aston Villa players have complained to the hitmaker Cas Castor Castore, I don't even know. I have no saying. idea. Some northern thing. The the official like team kit for the men and the women's team weighing them down and creating a wet look. They get clearly soaked very quickly with sweat. Um, Gab, what do you what do you make of this? The women's team have also complained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're starting the WSL reasons. this weekend. They're not happy either. Okay, I don't like talking about kit. I don't really understand this. Um, this brand, by the way, is an English band from somewhere up north. Um, they just obviously because you're trying to sell things. Obviously, you're going to pretend that you have like an Italian sounding or French sounding name. Otherwise, you know nobody's going to go and. Yeah, you've seen it happen before. I know, but... You like, know Umbro, what? for example. They're not True. Italian, right? No, but I know, I know, but... So, the issue store. with this... Yeah, the issue with this kit... And, and by the way, it's only certain kits because they also sponsor... They, they also supply the kit, I think, to Wolves. And I've never heard Wolves complain about no, it. No, yeah, yeah. They did supply Brentford's second kit last year, and they complained about the point that Brentford apparently kept wearing um, their third kit. Essentially, apparently, the complaint is it doesn't wick properly. So... What's wick? So wick is when you're wearing the kit, you sweat and, you know, it's like if you wear like performance gear or technical gear. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it absorbs it, kind of thing. It, no, it doesn't absorb. It does, it does the opposite. Rather than absorbing it, it kind of pushes it to the outside and oh, it's yeah, released yeah, in the yeah. air. Okay. Here, apparently, the kit retains it, so it makes people right. heavier. Certainly, it looks like it looks like absolute trash with those big, <laughs> ugly stains yeah, in yeah, front yeah, of the true, kit. True. Um, what I don't understand about this is... Surely, if you're Aston Villa, before you know, they design the clay they supply it to you. Yeah. Surely, they supply samples and say, "Oh, this is what it looks like. Yeah. This is the material." I'm also not clear why, like, the second kit might be like this, but not the first kit. If they and they must have played in preseason with them, so they they would have known way before now. I don't now. know. Maybe they didn't sweat much. Maybe they played preseason games. By the way, Castor in French is Beavers. I'm not sure I would have picked that name, but you know, it's only me. I, I have no idea. I don't want to diss the company. No, no, no. Send us three gear if you want. We'll test them out. I'll see, yeah, I'll yeah. see how I sweat wearing them the them at the gym, yeah. Um, I also do think to some degree, as you know, players are also weirdly superstitious and complain. It may also be yeah. that they're making a big deal and this company's getting a raw deal. I, I genuinely don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. But I, I do know that Unai Emery doesn't like it. So, <laughs> hey. Jules, this brings us to an yeah. end. Got um, you're going to be back on Monday. I won't because I'll be at my mom's 80th birthday oh, party. Amazing. How about that? Yes. Uh, until then, love the game. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. <laughs>